This comes as local school leaders are working to put plans in place for kids to return to class in the fall. Tomorrow, the Brevard County School Board will discuss ideas. Then a final plan will be presented next Thursday. News 6's James Barbero is talking more about it with the teachers union. Our teachers, the number one issue is the safety of their children. Jonathan Hilliard says the Brevard Federation of Teachers wants to be back in the classroom in just four weeks. But what needs settled first is the district's reopening plan. Brevard Schools is expected to reveal those details next week. What are you looking for in that plan? We want to see options. Okay, we already know the traditional open with the masks, sanitation, social distancing, but we'd like to see a uh, hybrid option where we may have a modified schedule where we don't have the full complement of the entire student body in the school at one time. And then the option of being able to go virtual. The union is giving the district credit for enacting distance learning in the spring in just a matter of days. For this year, Brevard Schools is telling parents concerned about sending their kids back to school, they can enroll in the school district's virtual school. The deadline is extended until the end of this month. It was the best that could be put together under the circumstances. What, was it great? No. Um, was it flawed? Yes, there was a lot of flaws. But now we learned the lesson, so now we can put a better program together. The new state order that public schools must physically open next month strengthens requirements for online learning. Tomorrow, Brevard Schools will live stream its workshop talking about reopening. See what our community is thinking. The superintendent then shares the full plan the following Thursday, the 14th. In Brevard County, I'm James Sparvero, getting results, News 6.